Hey, welcome to Life with Andy, where we discuss life and the lessons learned along the way. For the past year, I have been attempting to learn Korean in the hope that I can convince myself and all of you that it is possible to learn a second language, even if you start a little bit later than a lot of other people. So it's been a fun journey. It's been frustrating at times, but I've found that by studying a little bit every day, I have been able to progress. And to be honest, I'm really surprised that after one year, I can hold a basic conversation on certain topics uh, with Koreans. And I'm so thankful for that because now that I'm living in Korea, to be able to talk to someone and even say something simply as, you know, what I did in the weekend, that is such a rewarding feeling that you realize after a five minute conversation, you talk and then you leave, you realize, wait, I just spoke in Korean for, for five minutes or a whole conversation and walked away and just that realization that this is what I always dreamed of doing and that I've been able to do it, oh, it's the best feeling. And I hope that my videos can encourage you that it is possible. But what I'll do in this video is I'll talk in Korean um, shortly and then after that I'll share some of my thoughts about language learning and I guess advice after one year what's been working for me, what hasn't, and uh, we'll go from there. So for transparency, I do want you to know, earlier before recording this video, I wrote down a short script of things I wanted to say uh, before recording. And I know a lot of the time people don't acknowledge that, but I think it is important to acknowledge that this won't be necessarily three just off the top of my head thoughts. And also, even though I wrote things down, I'm still learning, so there will be mistakes. But enough about that, let's begin! Woohoo! 안녕하세요, 이제 에드민 앤디예요, 반가워요. 이 유튜브 비디오에 한국말 배우는 것을 이야기할 거예요. 1년 정도 한국말 배우고 있었어요. 이번 년 한국으로 이사했어요. 한국말 아직 잘 못해요. 하지만 한국말 천천히 좋아지네요. 최근 저는 한국말 온라인 수업 다시 시작했어요. 왜냐하면 7월에 한국말 시험하고 싶어요. 시험 공부하기 정말 어려워요. 잘 하고 싶어요. 그러니까 공부해야 해요. 매일 조금 연습이에요. 저는 학교에 선생님들은 하고 학생들은 에 이야기해요. 한국 사람들은 아주 친절해요. 그래서 아, 한국 사람들은 아, 친절한 감사합니다. 최근 기차에 할머니 옆에 앉았어요. 우리는 한 시간 이야기했어요. 조금 이해했어요. 하지만 정말 재미있었어요. 최근 한국의 날씨가 자주 더워요. 정말 더워요. 저는 이번 월, 이번 월 축구에 학생들은 같이 놀았어요. 그 학생들은 정말 좋았어요. 진짜 좋았어요. 저는 안 좋아요. 진짜 안 좋아요. 재미있었어요. 재미있었어요. 저는 한국의 김치 좋아해요. 그래서 행복해요. 네, 정말 행복해요. 지난 주말 강릉에 갔어요. 그리고 바다에 친구들은 같이 갔어요. 재미있었어요. 이번 주 학교에 가르칠 거예요. 음, 최근 아, 정말 바빠요. 왜냐하면 아, 많이 수업 아, 가르쳐요. 아, 하지만 아, 가르치는 것을 좋아해요. 그래서 행복해요. 예, 행복해요. <웃음> oh man. Woo! Woo! Okay. Uh, we're not 
script a little bit on that one uh, as I was talking, but I do like that I can do that, but uh, after speaking that much and like really trying to think, uh, my head hurts, or as I like to say to my fellow teachers when I'm talking with them at school, ah, mori apayo, mori apayo. <laughs> but it's fun, I, I really love it. So, what have I been working on recently, and what is working well? So recently I've been working on vocabulary acquisition. I'm doing this by using a few resources. One is just reading. I find reading really helps and gives me some clarity as to what I should learn or where some of my gaps are. And next, I've been using Quizlet and focusing on a book a topic in 30 days. That book has a lot of really useful vocabulary. To be honest, a lot of the vocabulary is way above my current level, but I am hoping to take the topic exam in July. Do I think I'll pass? Oh. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, it's just the level one test, so it's for beginners. So I think if I keep putting in the work, keep working on my reading and my listening, I will get there. But in terms of my language skills, I find reading at the moment is still my best skill because I have time to really think about what is there and it gives me a chance to do this and guess. Uh, from there, speaking, I feel like a lot of the Korean I know I can output well but my listening really needs a lot of work. So in my lessons coming up this month, I will be working on more of my listening, but I am starting to, I guess, try to apply what I'm teaching uh, to my students, uh, to my own language learning journey. So with teaching listening, there's several ways you can teach. You can teach people to listen for specific information and you can teach people to listen for gist and often, when I do listening, I get so caught up of, oh, I don't know that word, oh, what, what, what are they saying? And I find when my mind goes that way, I forget everything. And often what I have to remind myself is, it's okay if I don't understand everything, just try, use what you can understand. And if I get it wrong, they'll tell me, but if not, I can carry on the conversation. And when I talked to that grandma on the train, that was amazing because I couldn't understand most of what she was saying, but by picking out little bits of what she was saying, I was able to continue the conversation and we ended up talking for one hour, which was insane. So yeah, that, that was cool. But yeah, vocabulary acquisition, that's been my main focus. And for the coming month or two, I will be working more on my listening skills as I find if I can understand more, that would really help with my time in Korea and make uh, doing day-to-day -day things a lot less stressful. So that's my focus, practice exams, working on listening, learning vocabulary, and using things like Quizlet, just writing, writing things down. Here's some of the script I wrote. I'm finding that writing things down is also testing how well I know the word and the pronunciation of the word. I still have a lot of work to go there, but I'm really happy with my progress. And before I finish up this video, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone for your encouraging words and support. And I know some of you who've been helping me learn Korean watch these videos. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful. But before we go, I'm really bad at memorizing this, so I will read it. Before you go, Je Chenuru, Joa Hamyon, Joa Yoru, Nuru Go, Kudok, Hair Thank you so much. See you next time. Woo! Yeah! We're learning Korean! <laughs> Alright, bye!